2008 was an interesting year. The Large Hadron Collider was fired up for the first time. There was an historic election in the US. We were all treated to that incredible Olympic ceremony in Beijing, and M. Night Shyamalan made another horrible movie. Wait, this is a tech channel. Oh right, yeah. It also marked Intel's adoption of a brand new naming scheme for its CPUs, with the high end of its processor range becoming Core i7 for the first time. Although curiously, these chips contained four cores and eight threads, which, hmm. Anyway, nine years later, Intel is expanding this scheme again with the i9. And I'm not talking about an expensive Bavarian concept car. Intel is now calling its highest end consumer processors Core i9. Though once again, there won't be a nine core model in the mix. The first Core i9s are part of the Skylake X family, continuing with Intel's theme of releasing enthusiast level CPUs with a one generation older microarchitecture than the mainstream processor family. However, unlike mainstream parts, Core i9 SKUs feature 10 cores on the lowest end, with models with 12, 14, 16, and even 18 cores forthcoming as well. And they all feature hyperthreading, meaning you'll get anywhere between 20 and 36 threads. So it's not surprising then that Intel is pushing these new chips as solutions for what it calls megatasking a term defined by the Intel marketing department as simultaneously running multi-threaded, hard-hitting workloads like gaming, streaming, and recording on multiple monitors at once, content creation like video, audio, and image editing for the same project at once, or you know what to hell with it. We've got 18 processors. Why not do both at once? Intel is also boasting of performance improvements in lightly threaded workloads. In addition to the usual claims of slightly boosted raw IPC over the previous generation, they've also updated Turbo Boost 3.0. Now, all Core i9s and the Core i7-7820X will feature two preferred strongest cores for turbo frequencies and overclocking that is better than the others, instead of just one strongest core, which could benefit applications like CPU bound games that might use more than one core, but won't take significant advantage of more than two. But whether you're getting a Core i9, an updated Core i7, or even for some reason, a KB Lake X Core i5 or Core i7, these new chips will all use the new LGA 2066 socket. So they won't be backwards compatible with any older boards. The good news though, is that thanks to the shiny new X299 chipset, you'll get support for up to three PCI Express 3.0 X4 SSDs with a total of up to 44 PCIe lanes directly off the CPU. So then depending on which CPU you choose, that can mean tons of bandwidth for more graphics cards, more NVMe storage, and other expansion cards that need lots of throughput too, like Thunderbolt 3, for example. Of course, all of this is going to come at a price with Core i9 CPUs starting at a cool 1,000 US dollars, all the way up to two grand for the top end 18 core model. Yikes. And even though KB Lake X processors will start at the mid 200s, they lack quad channel memory support and have fewer PCIe lanes. So folks will effectively be paying extra for features on pricey high end motherboards that they won't even be able to use unless they upgrade their CPU down the line. But whatever you choose to buy or not buy, all of this is definitely good news in that competition is finally ramping up in the CPU industry for the first time in over half a decade. So you know what I say? Go red team! And also go blue team! I, I just want faster computers in general, I don't care who wins.
Speaking of who wins, you can win by installing TunnelBear VPN. TunnelBear lets you tunnel through one of 20 different countries, allowing you to browse the internet and use online services as though you are in a different country. They've got easy to use apps for iOS, Android, PC, and Mac, also a Chrome extension. And all you gotta do, there's like no configuration whatsoever. You just choose a country, Press the button and watch as your bear tunnels your internet connection to your new location. Your connection gets encrypted and your public IP address gets switched. So you show up as some anonymous person from some friggin' country somewhere. They also have a top rated privacy policy and don't log user activity. So try it out for free with 500 megs of free data at the link in the video description. And when you sign up for an unlimited plan, make sure you go to tunnelbear.com slash Linus so you can save 10%. So thanks for watching guys, dislike or like, check out our other channels and subscribe so you don't miss any videos here on TechWiki. Woo, it's a great channel.